so I'm really pleased to have finished that step. I now have one more heat left on all of it, and that is the crucial heat. Anyway, because this video is going to be a little bit shorter, I figured that we'd do some questions and answered. So I'm going to be taking questions and answering them from the YouTube comments over the past couple of days, as well as from my Twitch stream, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Quick question, all the scale that comes off when you're forging, can that be recycled in any way, or is it too much effort for the amount of metal you'd get back? So in terms of, um, I'll, I'll address like the, the, the economic part of it first, which is steel is extraordinarily cheap. Um, there's absolutely no return on investment of time in getting any sort of metal back from the scale. However, going back to part one of the question, as far as I understand, it is physically possible to take scale, refine it, like make it go through a bloom like you would with iron ore, because iron ore is iron oxide, this is another form of iron oxide. As far as I understand, you can indeed refine this down into a chunk of iron, but it'd probably take you all day and you'd probably take 10 pounds of the scale and make like a little tiny cube like this of iron at the end of it. So it wouldn't really be worth it. Another question on yesterday's video, can I get one for free? No, you can't. Another great question that came in on Twitch, Alec, are the hammers your own design? They're absolutely not my own design. I know a lot of you guys are unfamiliar with a lot of the finer details of how it is that I got into the craft of blacksmithing. Um, as the channel has exploded, it's often difficult to keep you in track of that. So I learned how to make tools from Brian Brazil and I learned to make um, a rounding hammer from Brian Brazil and that's very much what this is inspired from. The designer hammer that you see me making today is a cross between the Brian Brazil rounding hammer, some of the square rounding hammers I saw Jacob Farham making, it's a cross between those two and so it's absolutely not an original design by any metric and even Brian Brazil who I learned to make the hammer from doesn't say it's his original design, he says it's an old design of hammer. What acid do you etch your Damascus steel in? What's the liquid that I'm going into? It's actually ferric chloride. I'll go ahead and leave a thing up there, I think it is, or up there maybe, where you can see a video where I give a little more of a, like a tutorial into making Damascus steel, a little more information into the process. What video editing software are you using, Alec? I'm currently using Final Cut Pro on a MacBook Pro, and I like it because it is simple enough so that me, as, as a lay man, was quickly able to learn it and um, there's not too much kind of overload of features, so I like that. Despite the fact I can't pull up any screenshots right now for this question, this has been asked a lot. What camera are you using to shoot with? I'm using a Panasonic GH5. It just came out and I absolutely love it. It's amazing and I'm shooting my audio with a Rode VideoMic Pro and I've got Manfrotto tripods and a Rhino slider. Got issues with the Rhino slider, but that's how you get the tracking and panning shots. It's a mechanized kind of slider unit with a belt that drags the camera across from side to side. Alec, what's it like giving workshops to men that are older than you? Um, now, this is, I've, I've been giving classes and stuff like that regularly since I was 17 or so. And so it was funny and it was a little weird having people come and take classes where like, you know, say, so, so, you know, do you have kids? And like, oh yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, my daughter's a lawyer. My son's a, my son's a, you know, an insurance broker or yada, yada, yada. And you know, they're 30 and they got kids. And I'm like, oh wow, that's great. Or giving classes, you know, where... <laughs> where they have grandkids that are a similar age to me. It's funny, um, is, is, is the main thing. It's funny. Naturally, like, there's this there's massive age discrepancy, but one of the things that I felt is I, I always had great respect for, for any of any people that are much older than me that are, that are taking classes. I always have great admiration for the lives that they've built, and um, it's it's... I've not found it that difficult to massively respect somebody in one light and also be able to have the confidence to instruct them and tell them where they're wrong and tell them how to fix things and direct them through this curriculum. You know, I think there's, uh, I think what really helped me do this was separating between the fantastic things that they've built in their long life, you know, the things that make an elder deserve respect and also the fact that, you know, hey, they don't know how to black they're here to blacksmith. My job is to teach them how to blacksmith. If I'm gonna start getting, you know, uh, if I'm gonna start getting pent up and nervous about the fact that they're older than me, they're not gonna get their money's worth and I've therefore caused the vicious cycle of being nervous about somebody being older than me and taking a class and then teaching a terrible class and then being nervous about teaching a terrible class because I'm younger, which is a bad thing. So honestly, it was just sucking it up and teaching the class and knowing that they're here to learn and, uh, and still being able to respect the fact that they've done brilliant things and their lives that I'll that I'll I'm still looking forward to doing in mine. 
That's gonna wrap it up guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, lots of fun hanging out with you all today, especially on the Twitch stream, massive massive fun, thank you for watching, be sure to watch two more videos here, I'm gonna link up some of the recent ones as well, a random one right here, you definitely wanna see this, this is the surprise video, thank you again, please hit subscribe, I'll see you tomorrow on the live show, it's gonna be a blast, bye!